Hello folks and welcome to week three of Eat Well Wednesday. This week we're doing a favourite for the kids and all the family, uh, which is cheeseburgers. Uh, I made cheeseburgers, fairly simple and they taste a lot better than the shop bought ones. Uh, so firstly, what we're going to do, so uh, let's get straight into it. I've already sorted my ingredients out, which is uh, egg, uh, mashed up, breadcrumbs, cheese, I'm sticking some parsley in, a bit of seasoning, Worcester sauce, uh, and some mince. So, let's get started, folks. So, step one, we've got to crumble the mince. Uh, just let me adjust my camera, because it's moving. So, yeah, step one, we've crumbled the mince, and I've adjusted this, because there's only me here, so I've adjusted the ingredients. If you follow the recipe, which is online uh, what I posted it, it makes 12 burgers this should make four unless you you want to do bigger burgers that's it totally up to you so firstly we break up the mince then we're tipping our breadcrumbs I've already done my breadcrumbs so we're tipping breadcrumbs also within that we add our cheese, which I've already grated up. Also, some Worcester sauce, about uh, four, four tablespoons. But like I said, I've adjusted mine. So I'm putting slightly less in. And also, we need to add our parsley. I've got, it says fresh parsley, but you can use a uh, dried. But also, with this folks, you can, you can add extra bits if you choose to do so. Uh, I'm just trying to work out how to get into this. Because it's not working. Because I'm going to add a bit of chilli, if I can get into it. But it's, but it's not working. God knows. I can add chilli, but you can add chilli and all sorts to this burger. It's completely up to you. So then, we need to... Add the eggs, and the egg binds it. I'm not adding it all, because like I says, I'm doing a, a small version. And then what we do is get our hands in. But also, if you want to add some salt and pepper. I'm just adding salt because I'm not very keen on pepper. And we, we mix it up. The egg combines it all. But you can add, you can make it into garlic burgers, uh, add onions if you if you choose to do so. You can quite literally make your own experiment. This will last me today and tomorrow, so I'll have a burger tomorrow as well, folks. Just like this. So this is two portions for me and what I'll do is uh, just wrap it up at the end and you and chuck it in the fridge for tomorrow. So yeah, we've got that folks. So now I'll get a plate and I use a plate I did my bread on. What what we do is just split it into Portion size. Now it's completely up to you how big you want them, your burgers. So put it in your hand, make it into a ball, and flatten it to whatever size you want. I'm doing a fairly big one. So once we've done that, just let me wash my hands quickly.
So yeah, once we've done that, we need to turn. So we've shaped it and we've got to cut this within 24 hours. So like it says, that'll do for tomorrow. Uh, you can freeze it for up to three months. Uh, but yeah, to cook the burger, it says eat the grill. So you, you can grill it or you can fry it. Today, what I'm doing is frying it. Because frying is far simpler. So I'm going to turn my oven on. Grilling it is an healthy option, folks. So what I'm going to do, let's move camera. So you can see it. And what I'm going to add is a bit of uh, oil. Not much, just a splash. And chuck our burger in. And once it's once it's cooked, I shall be back, folks. As you can see, folks, it's been steadily cooking away. Uh, on a medium heat, I'll turn it right down because it's cooked now. So, next stage of it is a fairly simple one. So, all we need is a shop bought bun, which I've already got. You don't need to add any cheese to it or out like that. You can even butter your bread. And then what we're going to need is I don't, I don't tend to eat that much butter, so we'll pop that in there. Yes, it's a fairly chunky one. You can add salad to it. Or me, I like onions, so I'm, I'm adding some red onion, on, onion to it. I don't like salad, but uh, if you want, you can add any sort of salad. Uh, you can have chips with it. Uh, either sweet potato uh, or whatever you fancy having with it like it says it's it's a great uh, meal for the kids and fairly simple to cook and it tastes it's hot it tastes absolutely gorgeous so so there you have it folks a great burger, which is easy to make from home. So until next week, take care and stay safe.